question though, how do we, see another important issue is how do you make decisions? How do we make decisions? And uh, a lot of people have put down consensus because I don't think they understand it, but we make, the, our decision making is consensus, the whole team does. Uh, let me give you an example. This weekend I was talking with this church and we were looking, we were in the disciple making phase where we were looking at their primary disciple making ministries. And they had, this is traditional church, Sunday morning, Sunday school, Bible study, and church. Sunday evening, again, worship, preaching time, and then Wednesday night prayer meeting. And so as we looked at that, I, we were looking at the Sunday night. And I just said, uh, we're not making an official decision. This group can, but I'm just curious, how many of you, because we talked about why are you doing Sunday night? I mean, we're do, you turn around doing the same thing we do Sunday morning, Sunday night, and one guy said, we're kind of like Catholics, aren't we? They offer the Mass all day long. Well, that's what we're doing, this, this, this worship preaching time, and then the Bible study, we're, we're doing that again in the evening, and we're duplicating. Our, our, and so I just said, well, how do you feel about this? How many of you feel that you need to get, stop doing this on Sunday nights? And most of the hands went up. Now, we can make that as an official decision, but that was just a straw poll, and we're constantly doing that. When we do the values, when we're discovering the church's values, and we're doing storyboarding in that process, uh, then I'll ask now, we've got, I'll, I'll show you how to do storyboarding later on. Or do most of you know how to do storyboarding? Okay, we've, we've got the little post-it notes up on the whiteboard here with what they think their values are. And then a part of that is I'll go back and say, okay, we've got these up, we've brainstormed. Uh, anybody think that we've got something up here that shouldn't be, that is not a value of this church? And, and there always are. So somebody will raise their hand, and we've got evangelism up here. There are few churches today that are doing evangelism, but that'll, and somebody will challenge that right away. And so uh, we'll, we, we have a discussion, and these are some of our best times because people start talking about that. Well, are we really doing this? And somebody said, two years ago, three kids got saved in vacation Bible school. We are evangelistic, okay? <laughs> and then somebody else will raise their hand and say, come on, who, we're, we're just kidding ourselves, folks. We have, uh, th th those two kids made a profession of faith, but, they did, uh, uh, but they'll talk about that. And then I may say, okay, how many of you think we should leave this up? As, as a value, how many think we should take it down? And usually they're unanimous votes. And what that does for you is that saves you wasting a lot of time. Have you ever seen a discussion about something everybody's agreed upon going for days in a row? Why are we wasting? So what I'll do is I'll try to be sensitive to where they are. I want them to talk, but sometimes we can just talk it into the ground. And so I'll, I'll call it and I'll say, okay, where are we? Uh, let, let's vote. Um, just Where are you? And, and that's official because that thing gets eliminated and won't be a part of the value structure initially. 